Hi YouTube, today we're going to take 754 and divide it by 23. 754 is our dividend, so it's actually going to go inside this box here. That's our 754. And 23 is our divisor, the number we're dividing by, so it's going to go outside of our box. And typically a good rule of thumb is the smaller number is going to go on the outside, the bigger number is going to go on the inside. Our quotient will actually be our answer at the end. Let's go ahead and divide it. We're going to be following these steps above. So can 23 go into 7? The answer is no, 23 is too big. So we're going to try 23 into 75. And can it go into that? Hopefully you see that it can. So first step is to kind of just guess. How many times do you think it can go in? Well, let's try 2. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. That's 46. Yeah, two 23s can fit but we need to find the most that can fit. So let's try three. Three times three is nine. Three times two is six. So three 23s also can fit, so we're gonna go with the three. And if you tried four, you'd actually go over. So you need the most without going over. So which is three? Now we did the divide, we found the biggest one. We multiplied. Uh, now we're on to the subtraction steps. Let's go ahead and subtract these two quantities. 5 minus 9, can't do that. We have to borrow. 15 minus 9 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. Um, so we did the subtraction step. We're now on to repeating. So let's try to divide again. Can 23 go into 6? Hopefully you see that it cannot. So we're going to go ahead and drop down a number and see if 23 can go into 64. It can. 64 is bigger. So can 23 go in one time? Pretty clearly, I think probably a better guess might be two, right? It at least can go in once. We're gonna try to guess two here. So two times three is six. Two times two is four, that's 46. That does work, it didn't go over. We should check quickly to see if three could go in. But if you recall, three 23's got a 69, which is too much. So three would not work, which means two is the number we want. So now we're gonna go ahead and subtract these two. 4 minus 6, we can't do it, so we have to borrow. 14 minus 6 is 8. And 5 minus 4 is 1, so we get 18. Uh, we did the subtractions, now we're back to step 1, divide. 23 cannot go into 18. There is no number to drop down, so this is where we're going to stop. That would be our what we call our remainder, so we write our answer as 32, remainder 18. That is our quotient, 32. Remainder 18. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on all your division problems.